Hey all, if you just want a free patch, just visit the links below. But if you want to know what's going on under the hood of this JTM50 V2 preset, stick around. So I gotta say first, I'm not messing around. The controls you see here is the same principle that I made in the Fender Bassman video, which you can check out here. And now again with the JTM50, all the controls are all the way up to 10. So if you want to follow along, select an amp called the Bridge Amp Normal, which is the uh, JTM50 and just max out all the controls, the normal drive, the bass, the mids, the treble and the presence and the master volume. For my guitar, I seem to be lowering the sag and the hum, sometimes uh, the, the ripple value as well, because the same thing happened here with the uh, uh, JTM50 as it did with the Fender Bassman. Now the next thing you're gonna pick is the plate reverb. I have it set to a 2.6 uh, probably seconds of decay and the mix is at 37%. Now finally, let's hear how Snapshot 1 sounds. As with the Fender Bassman video, I'm gonna start with my guitar volume at 5. Now, if I crank it to 10, You can see how much dynamic range we have here. With the guitar volume at 5, I get a nice... I get a nice clean, but ever so slightly saturated tone. If I crank the volume up to 10, This was all on the neck pickup, let's switch to the bridge pickup now. Volume of 10. So the amp in Snapshot 1 cleans up nicely and breaks up nicely. On to Snapshot 2. Here I decided to add the vintage delay because I like the sound of the vintage delay in the pod go and I brought down the drive because I want snapshot 2 to be a bit cleaner. For snapshot number 2 I've also increased the decay and the mix on the reverb and brought the channel volume just a bit. You can see the difference between snapshot 1, the drive is all the way up to 10 and the channel volume is at 5.5. When I switch to snapshot number 2 the drive goes down to 5 and the channel volume goes up because again we lost some of the volume by bringing the drive down. So Snapshot 2 sounds a bit like this. So snapshot number two can serve you as a nice clean sound with loads of delay, or it can be a just slightly overdriven lead tone. On to snapshot number three. Now before you hear this absolutely gorgeous sound, in the river block I brought the decay down when I compare it to snapshot number two. There's a lot more ambience going on and it's snapshot number three, that ambience is brought down and I've turned off the delay completely. Now our first distortion block is, honestly I don't know how to pronounce this, is it the alpaca? Rouge. This beautiful pedal is emulating the Red Llama by Way Huge. I think that's the name of the firm. And it sounds a little bit like this. I'll do that again on the bridge pickup. Now on the neck pickup. Oh. 
that is extremely fat and I'm in love with the sound. For snapshot number three, the drive is, as you can see, all the way up to 10 again. And the tone is, I don't know. <laughs> Now finally on to snapshot number 4, this is where we find our lead sound. Here the delay is back and when we compare it to that ambient one snapshot number 2, I think that there's a bit more delay. Both 30% feedback and mix on delay in snapshot number 2 and in snapshot number 4, I brought up the feedback and the mix a bit. And the decay on the reverb is somewhere in between, but I've increased the, the, the low cut, I think. So what am I using for a boost here? Well. It's nothing else than a tube screamer with gain set at zero, level is all the way up to 10, the tone is at 4.6 and finally this is how the lead snapshot should sound. <laughs> So anyway, I hope you liked the updated JTM50 preset. I'm absolutely in love with snapshot number one, obviously with snapshot number three because it sounds huge, epic, monstrous, intense. So anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching and there's a free preset waiting for you down below in the description box in the Google Drive folder and it's called JTM50 V2. Bye all.